President Trump taking immediate action, action following Bashar al-Assad's latest chemical attack in Syria. It was a slow and brutal death for so many. Even beautiful babies were cruelly murdered in this very barbaric attack. No child of God should ever suffer such horror. Tonight, so, how are those who escaped Assad's regime reacting to the missile strike in Syria? Mustafa Hassoun is a refugee from Syria. He fled, he and his family fled in 2011 when he was just 17 years old, and he arrived in the U.S. in 2015. He joins us now. Mustafa, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. So, what, what was your reaction when you saw President Trump take action? Finally, after six years of our revolution, the President Trump make red line, river line for uh, Bashar al-Assad uh, uh, that he will stop them to uh, kill my people. I'm so happy and I'm so glad he did that. Uh, uh, finally, also like finally after six years, uh, um, we we saw what like we we. We did that. Yeah, what was your reaction? Well, when President Obama originally said, we're going to draw this red line if he uses chemical weapons, then he did, and, he, and America did nothing. What was your feeling then? It was so sad. I'm, I'm so happy right now uh, Trump did that. Uh, uh, like when, when uh, Obama, when Obama uh, say he will, uh, he, will make, uh, he, he will stop Assad doing that, and he gave him red line, fake red line, uh, uh, Bashar Assad uh, start to kill people again and again and again, uh, uh, and he will keep going, uh, keep killing people mm -hmm. if, if 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 Mr. Donald Trump uh, give him the other red line. But uh, Mr. Donald Trump, he didn't do that. He start to uh, like to show him the real America. Sure, the real America. You know, what are your friends in? You still have friends and family and others back in Syria. How do they feel about what President Trump has done? That's what I want to say, like, uh, uh, when, uh, when, uh, two days ago, when uh, Mr. Donald Trump uh, started start that in Syria, uh, all the people be, was happy, and uh, all the people inside Syria was happy about what he did. Uh, it's, it's really awesome, and it's, it's really amazing. Uh, and I wish that uh, Mr. Donald Trump continue doing that, uh, uh, to kick Assad out so I can back home. Uh, yeah. Critics of President Trump have said, well, sure, he may have taken action with a missile strike against uh, Bashar al-Assad in Syria, but he has a, a refugee ban here in the United States right now, so Muslims don't like him. What do you say to that? Okay, I would say something about refugee. Uh, uh, I, we should to talk about why the people became refugee. Uh, as a refugee, like, I would say I left Syria because what's happened in my country, uh, uh, what Assad did with me in 2011. Uh, so if he want to make a refugee plan for uh, like in the United States, uh, that's okay. But he will help me after that. Uh, uh, what he did two days ago, he will help me to back to Syria uh, when he kick Assad and all the uh, Iranian militia outside of Syria. So you're ultimately saying, hey, I'm hoping these actions will allow me as a refugee to go back to Syria. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he will. He will help me to back to Syria. Absolutely. After that. And that's what you want? I mean, a lot of people say, no, refugees want to stay in America no matter what. You're saying, no, this is my home. I want the Civil War over so I can go back. I mean, I want to stop. I, I, I cannot back to Syria right now if Assad's still in power. Absolutely. I would still here if Assad's still in power. But I would back. I mean, everyone misses home. I mean, I miss to be with my family. I mean, I'm in the United States and my family in other countries, in Sweden, Germany, Turkey. So I wish I came back to my home, is to, sitting together. I miss my friends. I miss my my, my, my country. I want to back to my country uh, uh, to build and uh, start to make uh, uh, like a new and good relationship with people around the countries. Uh, I w absolutely I would back home if, if Donald Trump keep doing that and kick us out out of of, of Syria. Uh, yeah. So from your perspective, you're just grateful that American president is taking a decisive ultimately military action as opposed to President Obama making a lot of pre uh, promises and declarations but nothing changing. Uh, uh, don't remember me about uh, Obama. Uh, finally, uh, yes, finally uh, Trump did it. I'm so thankful of, uh, of Trump. Uh, he did that finally. And what I wish, uh, I wish he's 
keep doing that. Sure. Uh, not because the uh, Bashar al-Assad, the chemical, the dictator of Bashar al-Assad, uh, just bombing the civilian by chemical weapons. Bashar al-Assad killing people every day, every single day, kill children, the women, uh, uh, like the old people, every day by bomber bombs, by like by a lot of things. Uh, when, uh, also, Bashar al-Assad, he's bombing the hospitals, and that's yeah. horrible. So I uh, I wish the the president Donald Trump uh, attack Assad every uh, like to kick him out of Syria with, hey. with his militia from Iran and uh, and Hezbollah. You've got Iran and Hezbollah and ISIS as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely ISIS. Absolutely ISIS. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for your time. We certainly uh, wish the worst on that brutal dictator for sure and the best for you and your family. Thanks for joining us. Thank we you. Appreciate it. Thank you.